This is a bowl of caribou soup. Really good soup. And then this salt, we like to call this salt grandma's salt. Because she went to the, the clinic, or the hospital or clinic, or whoever she talked to, doctor, nurse, health aide, and they uh, told her to use this kind of salt. Because it's a light salt. So she just poured more on top of this light salt. So we call this grandma's salt. Switch over the spoon. Oh no, two billion genetically modified mosquitoes cleared for release. Oh no. British biotech firm Oxitec announced this week that it's received approval from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for its genetically modified mosquitoes to be released in parts of Florida and in California following the completion of a pilot program last year. The modified male insects are designed to produce infertile offspring, ideally reducing local populations and rates of mosquito-borne illness. Oh no... They're going to throw nature out of balance. They're going to throw creation out of balance. They're fooling around trying to kill off mosquitoes. Make them infertile. What will that do to everything else? Oh, but it's okay. But it's okay. It's no problem. Let them do it. You'll have, look how many lives you'll save fooling around. Genetically modifying mosquitoes. And the EPA is just like, yeah, don't worry about it. It's okay. Oh, such a good bowl of soup. Such a good bowl of soup. Oh, look at all that on top there. That's that fat. The grease.
This is footage of ambush on Russian tanks. Russian troops can be seen attempting to break contact without providing, being provided any, any three dots, any covering fire. The vehicle movement seems to be sporadic and unorganized. Uh, as that of the dismounted troops, very interesting TTPs or lack of their on of on display, lack thereof on display. Hmm. That is happening. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. Springtime coming up. Get your bows ready. These guys are shooting. That is amazing. Amazing. Springtime coming up. Get your bows oiled. And, uh, wax up your strings. Such crazy archery. Reminds me of Lars. Oh, look, it says archery debunked. 
Have they debunked Lars? Last thing I heard, he wasn't debunked. We'll have to look it up. First, I'll show you who Lars is. Lars helped train the latest Robin Hood. Where they shoot multiple arrows very quickly. But maybe they've debunked him. We'll see here. 59 million views. How did they debunk him? Still got all these massive views up here. Well, it's in the title, Pat. Impossible Archery. <clears throat> oh, that was a different title of a video. Centuries ago, master archers were able to perform incredible feats of archery. These skills have long since been forgotten, but the Danish archer Lars Andersen is trying to reinvent what has been lost. He uses forgotten historical methods and holds all his arrows in the same hand he shoots with. Once, this technique was widespread, and Assyrian artwork shows that the method is at least 5,000 years old. Arab Archery, the most extensive historical book ever made about archery, states, this is the best type of shooting and there's nothing beyond it in power or accuracy. Using this technique, Lars has set several speed shooting records and shoots more than twice as fast as his closest competitors. And being able to shoot fast is just one of the benefits of the method. But the big question is, why has it been forgotten today? About 10 years ago, Lars started using a bow. The arrows he carried in a quiver on his back. Surprisingly, the quiver turned out to be useless when it came to moving fast. The back quiver is a Hollywood myth and was not common in the past, but it is still spread all over the world. Why? Because modern archers do not move. They stand still, firing at a target board, something that was unknown in the past. These archers also started placing the arrow on the left side of the bow, just as archers do in movies. This is probably due to the fact that aiming at a stationary two-dimensional target makes you aim with one eye instead of two. This one-eyed aiming also led to bows with front sights and other technical gadgets, but that's another story. However, placing the arrow left around the bow is not good while you're in motion. By placing the arrow on the left side, your hand is on the wrong side of the string, so you need several movements before you can actually shoot. From studying old pictures of archers, Lars discovered that some historical archers held their arrows on the right side of the bow. This means that the arrow can be drawn and fired in one single motion, which is both faster and better. And this was not the only problem with archery today. Lars realized that what we thought was historical archery only works well for modern target archery and Hollywood films. If he wanted to learn to shoot like the master archers of old, he would have to unlearn what he had learned and start reading historical manuscripts instead. He would have to find his way back to a time. Okay, okay. We believe you, Lars. But how are they trying to debunk you? I think it was because at one point, I think he responded to the debunkers of his Lars. At one point, he shows you the back of his arrow here. Lars discovered that some historical archers held their arrows on the right side of the bow. This means that the arrow can be drawn and fired in one single motion, which is both faster and better. And this was not the only problem with archery today. Lars realized that what we thought was historical archery only... Right there, where he shows the, the back of the arrow was came into contention, I guess, because they were saying, hey, his is a lot bigger than normal arrows. So he's cheating. So we got special arrows. So what? You just make special arrows. That's not debunking him. But let's look up uh, Lars debunked. Since it's there. Okay, um, hmm. This just looks like the only, like, real response. 
Let's see if it's actual response. In the past week, I've been tagged at least 13 times on Facebook in an archery video that's being circulated on the interwebs which makes a lot of claims about modern and historical archery and asked what I make of it. Now, a quick search on the internet will turn up all sorts of archery, bad and good, and generally the good representations of the fastest growing sport in the US basically outweigh the bad. Enter Lars Anderson. Dubbing himself the fastest archer on the planet, Lars sets about making claims about archery and then demonstrating shooting techniques based on those claims. It's not his techniques which have gotten him in hot water though, so much as his claims about those techniques. So first off, let's be clear about what he's doing here. Lars is performing what's called trick shooting. Trick shooting isn't a derogatory term. It's not meant to imply that something is faked, although there are aspects to the video that veer into outright misrepresentations which we'll get into later. Trick shooting is basically stunt shooting. Like everything else, it takes practice and the methods and stunts vary nearly as widely as the individual practitioners. And with his speed and antics, Lars has the potential to be an entertaining as well as very fast shooter. But Lars isn't claiming to be yet another speed trick shooter. He's making a lot of extraordinary claims about history as well as modern archery. Articles titled Everything You Know About Archery Is A Lie and YouTuber Destroys Every Hollywood Archery Myth feature Lars's video which purports to revolutionize archery by rediscovering forgotten techniques that were, according to Lars, universal at one point in antiquity and which work better than any other technique. What he ends up doing is anything but revolutionizing archery. Let's examine the claims he makes one by one. Be warned, there's a lot to unpack here. Okay, so there's some claims he's making. Research on representatives hidden away. But he's still a bad cat. He's still shooting arrows faster than anybody. Turning arrows. Turning arrows. I have to watch that full video and turn on Lars. Everybody's going to have to turn on Lars now that he's been debunked by a well-researched video. Well, that he got, whoa, he's 21 million views. So supposedly he's just a trick shooter. Arrow flight paths can be manipulated and can change direction within the air. Now both Arabic and English sources both record that an arrow can hit a target behind an object. Did you know it is possible for an arrow to hit an enemy who is hiding behind an object? The records also describe a form of returning arrow. Hmm. This skill is quite easy to do. It's fun should be performed by many archers, should appear in movies. Should appear in movies. Yeah, might have to turn on Lars. Making some bold claims whilst he's just a trick shooter. Well, he did train the new Robin Hood star, so they could shoot fast. That's what mattered, right? If you could shoot fast. 